हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशंस नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम द कार ए द कार पासिस पॉइंट ए विद द स्पीड ऑफ 25 मीटर पर सेकंड राइट सो दिस मींस दैट वेलोसिटी वी ए इज इक्वल टू 25 मीटर पर सेकंड एंड आफ्टर व्हिच इट्स स्पीड इज डिफाइंड बाय राइट सो वी आर गिवन वी एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एस राइट सो दिस इज 25 minus 0.15s and this is in meter per second so it is said that determine the magnitude of the car's acceleration when it reaches point b right so we and when at point b s is 51.5 meter and x is equal to 50 meters so now when s is equal to 51.5 meters we can find this velocity so velocity will be equal to 25 minus 0.15 into this s which is 51.5 meters so this will give us the velocity at that point b so now this is the velocity at point b right so this is vb which is 17.275 right and now as we know that v dv is equal to at ds right so we can find at by using this equation the tangential acceleration so tangential acceleration will be equal to and if you want to find the tangential acceleration at point b so then we will use the vb value right so vb and if we divide both side by ds so then at will be equal to dv divided by ds right so now uh, we need to find the first derivative of the velocity function and and then we need to find dv by ds value uh, for these given conditions right so now uh, the velocity function is 25 minus 0.15 s so dv by ds is this will be equal to 0 right the derivative of 25 is 0 and this will be minus 0.15 right so dv by ds is minus 0.15 so tangential acceleration is equal to we know vb value which is 17.275 and the derivative value is at point b is minus 0.15 minus 0.15 right so this will give us the tangential acceleration value so now the tangential acceleration value comes out to be minus 2.59 meter per second square right and now we can find the normal acceleration which will be equal to vb square if you want to find the acceleration at point b so then it will be equal to vb square divided by rho and now we are given this path function right so y of x is given so if y of x is given so then we can find this row value by using this equation so this is 1 plus dy by dx whole square to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by d square y divided by dx square so whenever we know the y of x function we are given this y of x function so we can use this equation to find the radius of curvature for a given path at a particular instant right so now we need to find the first derivative of the y function right so let me write that y of x is equal to this is given this is 16 minus 1 divided by 625 x square right so now if we take the first derivative of this with respect to x so the derivative of 16 will be 0 and this will be 2 divided by 625x right and we want to find this derivative at point b so at point b the x value is 50 meters right so we can find this dy by dx value at point b so this will be minus 2 divided by 625 and the x value is 50 right so this will give us dy by dx value at point b and now we need to take the double derivative of this so this will be dy square dx square so double derivative of this will be minus 2 divided by 625 right so the derivative of this is directly equal to this so at point b the second derivative of the path function is constant right so this will be the second derivative of this path function at point b so now uh, let me find this dy by dx value first now when we solve this so dy by dx comes out to be minus 0.16 and if in, and this d double derivative of the y function comes out to be minus 3.2 into 10 to the minus 3 so now we can find this radius of curvature by just putting those values so this will be 1 plus minus 0.16 whole square and this will be to the power 3 divided by 2 and remember that it will be the absolute value right so we have to consider the positive value so this will be 3.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 
So when we uh, put this into calculator, so then the radius of the curvature will comes out to be 324.58 meters, right? So now we can substitute this row and we devalue in this equation to find this a n. So a n will be equal to so we b is this thing. This is 17.2754 square divided by this radius of curvature. And when we solve this O, A N value comes out to be 0 0.92 meter per second square. And now we can find the acceleration magnitude. So acceleration magnitude will be equal to A T square plus A N square under the root 2. So A T value is this thing. This is minus 2.59. So I will write minus 2.59 whole square plus 0 0.92 whole square. So this will give us the acceleration magnitude. Now when we solve this, so the acceleration comes out to be 2.75 meter per second square, right? So this is the acceleration magnitude when the car is at point B and this is the velocity magnitude. And the velocity magnitude is this much, right? So this is 17.275 meter per second, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.